guys, welcome back to my vlogs, the quarantine, the quarantine vlogs. Um, today's the 20th of April, it's Monday, um, and it's actually quite late, it's, it's the afternoon. It's actually 5.40pm, and I just want to pick up the camera kind of like vlog a tiny bit because I have been, I woke up late, I'm not gonna lie, I woke up at 12, I think, or like 11.40 something, um, 12, and I just have breakfast brunch type of thing i had a pan of chocolate and some yogurt and some strawberries so um i'm very hungry right now because i didn't have any food earlier <laughs> it's been quite a while so i'm gonna make some lunch um i'm barefaced as you can see um i'm gonna film a video i think that's why i haven't put any makeup on but i'm desperate to put makeup on to look kind of like you know put together because I feel like putting makeup on, and even though it's gonna be for a few hours, I feel like it's just, it makes me really happy. It's like my happy place, just putting makeup on and, you know, getting getting ready. Even though it's a waste of it, waste of it, and I don't go anywhere, but it makes me happy, so I don't feel like it's a waste. Um, anyway, I look so swollen today. I think it's because I consumed an excessive amount of salt yesterday, because my eyes look so puffy, and I haven't, like, cried or anything, which is odd. So, yeah. I'm not trying to ramble on and on and on, but yeah, today was like admin day, um, I kind of have just been in this position the entire time, just, you know, trying to sort this out with all my electronics and stuff and pack strawberries, because I'm just, you know, trying to, no, that's not what I'm trying to do, you know, looking at YouTube, what the hell just happened, oh god, hold up, that's meant to go here, there we go. <laughs> Um, I'm just trying to edit and do some admin and, like, I'm not going to show you properly, but, you know, all this stuff. And, um, and yeah, that's all I've been doing so far. I don't know how this time has gone so quickly. And it was 12. Now it's nearly 6 p.m. and I've just been stuck doing all these things. So I'm going to go get some lunch. And then I'm going to come back, film and edit and finish all the work I'm supposed to be doing. I think I'm just gonna continue like working. This is kind of like my lunch break right now. Eee. I'm gonna continue working, I think, until 8 p.m. Um, actually, by the way, the playlist that you're listening to right now, so like music, is copyright free. Um, and a complete, I mean, if you're doing YouTube videos or you wanna get started or like you were thinking about it, or you need copyright free music for some reason or another, um, the website that I use that has really good music, you do have to pay for it though, um, it's Epidemic Sounds and I use a personal one, so it's only like £10 a month, and if you really truly dedicate it to it and you use it constantly like I do, because I like to have music on all the time, and I like jazz, and it has a, quite a good selection of music, like, I like a bit of everything, to be fair, and the music that you constantly hear in the background of my vlogs is usually copyright free so I don't get a copyright strike, and like potentially not be able to be monetized when I have the chance to be because you know with all these YouTube things that they update I've been rambling on for three and a half minutes um yeah anyway I don't want to bore you but the website I use Epidemic Sounds and I truly well and truly love them and I've loved them for like I think a year and a half possibly that I discovered them and ever since I just you know let's get some food all right, I got myself a bit of a mismatch lunch. <laughs> um, initially, I was gonna make a bagel, but then it started breaking because it was frozen, and I could not cut it in half. Fail. Yeah, I know. But um, I just served myself that, and it's a sweet potato dish that I made yesterday. It's very, very sweet. It's not salty at all. Um, so yeah, this is my mismatched lunch, and I think I'm gonna get um, some dessert or something like that. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna eat this. I'm just trying to eat something, you know. <laughs> Because I don't want to eat, like, pasta right now, either. And I wanted a bagel with, like, a classic ham and cheese, or well, turkey breast and cheese bagel, but, um, I broke it. <laughs> and I gotta start filming soon. I don't really cook lunch. You see, I go for it at dinner and breakfast, but my lunch is just not my strong point. <laughs> So I'm just gonna have a bite of this, attempt to paint my nose. Mm. There's nothing like the cream cheese bagel. 
I was going to make a more complex one, but I'm actually going to watch Gossip Girl because I've been watching it and I want to have like a bit of a break from my brain. So I'm going to watch some Gossip Girl. Oh, fuck. Although, I, I must say, I was a bit surprised. Uh, good morning, guys. More like, good afternoon now. But it was morning. <laughs> I got terrible insomnia, and it really fucking sucks. I am so swollen, I need to go get eye masks. Um, I got really bad insomnia. I hate when this happens. Um... I tried to go to bed at 12.30 and couldn't go to bed till 4.30 a.m. And I was trying to go to bed at 12.30 so I'd wake up at 6.30, but that wasn't going to happen. Like, my body could just not fall asleep. It's so annoying. I hate it. Anyways, aside from that, I woke up with, like, the worst sore throat ever. Like, you know, I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but your throat is so dry that when you try to, like, drink water or, like even pass alive or anything like that you know it sounds gross sorry but you feel like knives are be like are dragging down your throat it was just a lot too much so that's my morning for you um i'm gonna get a croissant and masks and try to stretch my back because it's really sore too I just could not sleep well, and I gotta start moving and editing because it's 12. I woke up at 11.30. <laughs> I can't be asked to move, but I'm hungry. And I want tea. And a pan of chocolate. And eye masks, like, patches. I've just been editing on my laptop. Like crazy. I almost had a breakdown because Oh my god, okay. I almost had a breakdown because I was trying to make this like effect thingy funny, but it was just not working and I was like, huh? I've lost like everything. Like I'm I don't know where like I've undone something and if I've undone something from part of another one. I was gonna get really frustrated, but I managed to hack it. So I'm almost done editing that video and um I'm hungry. I, I, I need to eat some lunch and I have no idea what I'm eating. Two hours later. And I'm finally done. But Jesus, I am exhausted. I'm starving. And I need to eat. <laughs> Can't think anymore. I use good notes to do like my planning and stuff like that. Like for the stuff so like oh, I don't know I think I'll show you my meal plan or something I use good notes I plan a lot of my shit I plan like my meals my content ideas like when I edit when I upload when I like if I've done something so I kind of got a monthly content ideas when it's gonna like you know all of that stuff like boring stuff for you guys but for me like I like planning and I like organizing and it's a way that I keep on doing this I sound so congested because I have really bad hay fever <laughs> <laughs> I kind of stopped reading this book right here, and I have just, like, I'm getting into it. I'm in, like, the first 30 pages, but at first I was like, oh, no, it's, like, too junky, there's a lot, like, I'm not getting into it. But then I'm just like, just keep on reading. This always happens to you, Nicole, and then by the time you, like, finish the first five chapters, you're, like, hooked, and then you can't put it down. So, at least I have the physical book here, and then there are other two books which makes me really happy because I hate when like there's only one book of something and it, the story doesn't continue because I like binge watching, binge reading stuff. So that's my current pick. I am very excited to do all of these things. So I need to go get food. It's 5.30. I'll give myself one hour break. Look at the cuteness. Aren't you cute? You want to go
welcome to the living room and I'm gonna sit down and just watch YouTube videos, um, have my tea, wind down a bit, plan a bit on my iPad and oh okay I got half party now, uh huh, okay. Um and yeah, just wind down a little bit. I think I might paint my nails now even. It's way too late for me to like put makeup on because I'm actually quite tired. I'm gonna make dinner in like an hour or two. So Ow. <laughs> Today's one of those days. I'll try to sleep early, wind down early, and go to sleep as early as I can. So tomorrow I can wait, I can film the video I didn't film today, essentially. But enjoy. <laughs> it's been two hours, well, one hour and a half, and I'm very hungry, so I'm gonna make some dinner for myself tonight. So I've chopped all the mushrooms, a bit of garlic, onions, and now I'm just heating up a bit of olive oil. I'm about to put some butter in and melt that in over there for the rice as well. I got a little bit of heat of this one, but it's all looking nice. I made myself a second cup of tea, I'm listening to Joe's now. And yeah, it just felt like having a second cup of tea, but where's the setup so far? <laughs> so I've added some white wine. This is a Moscato wine. I really like this one. It's very sweet. It's the only white one that I had. I usually like like add white Symphodel or Chardonnay. I'd like that one for like chicken. But that's what I have, so that's what I was going to use. I used some nutmeg, some herb from Provence, um, mixed pepper, and pink Himalayan salt. I put some chicken stock into the rice and everything's cooking up nicely so far. But in the meantime, I'm going to serve myself a glass of wine and just enjoy because, I mean, why not? I'm, I'm using it. I might as well. You're chefing out. Yum. Um, I've added the cream and I added some flour too to make the sauce thicker because it was way too watery. So in the hopes that this thing goes a little tiny bit thicker. Usually that works for me, but I'm just mixing it in. And this is basically done. So that's what it's looking like for now. I'm just going to serve it up now. <laughs> I finished cooking. I've come back to the living room now. Everything looks good except for the cat rits and and I'm okay with it. I mean, I'm eating them. I had a cooking spell today, but you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. This is my dinner. My failed carrots. Look at them. Everything looks good. It looks all right. I'm just having my I'm just having my glass of wine, my cup of tea. And it's Gossip Girl time, so I'm just gonna chill and watch this for a bit before I get ready for bed. I can't go without making it. Burn my legs because I was hurt. Without a taste test. So, I'm gonna see how my creation turned out. Hopefully, it tastes alright because I did not taste the chicken or the sauce. It might. It probably needs salt, but. You know. Huh. Mm. Oh my god, it is bomb. Mm. It's amazing. Yes. Perfect. I'm so happy. Good morning, guys. Say good morning. Yeah, good morning. Oh no, you got the lamp dirty. Fuck. Okay. I'll clean it after this. I'm back with I know. Good morning. I look like a toe. Good morning from us. You could focus on me. Um, yeah, he kind of went to bite the microphone off, but yeah. I tried to wake up.
wake up early today, but I couldn't even sleep early. You know, got severe insomnia until 6 a.m. And I don't even know what, it's probably because I had dinner so late and I had energy. But I was falling asleep with the wine. I don't know what I did wrong. So I just tidied the house and did the stuff I needed to do. Um, and then I was watching Gossip Girl a long time. And then before I went to bed, which when I tried to go to bed, I just couldn't go to bed. So, that happened. It's 12, it's 1.06 now. Um, I woke up at 12. I woke up at 8.30 with Alexa. With my dear Alexa. Anyway, so, <clears throat> I went to bed really late and now it's 1pm. I haven't had breakfast, I haven't left bed. I've just been replying to people and chatting to people. It's difficult because they text me like at 3 a.m. Like they're 9 a.m. in the UK. And I'm <clears throat> I'm either asleep or I'm doing something else. And I don't like to text people at 3 a.m. Or anything like that. Even though they text me like that. Even Let's say I'm awake at 3 a.m. And I don't like to text them back at that time. Only because if I do start chatting to them a long time then my brain will start going and I won't get sleepy so yeah and I don't I'm not the type of person that falls asleep texting someone I'm not I just get more hung up get off my laptop so <clears throat> it's a bit difficult because everyone starts texting me between 3 and 6 a.m. and because it's six hours different to the UK from here in Mexico and so yeah I've been replying to people and now I I think I'm going to make myself a cup of tea because I woke up with a really dry throat. Like, not sore, just dry. And get started with the day, because today was another late one. <laughs> if I didn't have this insomnia problem, it would be a lot easier. I think I'm going to watch something um, as I'm having my tea and breakfast at 1pm. So, it's brunch. It's well brunch lunch right now. I came out of the shower and my hair, whenever I leave my hair to air dry, this happens. So, there's that. Um, I got really cold because I haven't eaten anything. Like, I haven't eaten breakfast or lunch or anything. So, I'm going to put a jumper on. Um, now, I don't know what the situation is in other countries, but in Mexico we can still order food from restaurants and, like, they can deliver... Um, whether they just want to drop it off at your door and you don't even open the door for them and then you just, like, get it. Contactless del delivery. Or, um, they can actually just come and, like, hand it to you, <laughs> like normal. So you can still do that. So I'm feeling like getting cheeseburgers. Um. Okay. I have ordered my food. And now... Yeah, it's not there. Getting takeaway in Mexico is so cheap, I swear. Okay, I'm gonna dry my hair right now. I, it's still a bit damp, but like just damp enough to blow dry my hair. If I air dry my hair, it gets all like voluminous. Like it gets a bit frizzy, not gonna lie. Okay, I've been using um this airbrush thing, like heated brush, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I'll link it down below, um, but it's a Revlon brush and it's to blow dry it and it makes the job 10,000 times easier than grabbing a blow dryer and then like using the, um, um, the round bristle brush. It just, it's so much easier. I highly, highly, highly recommend this. Okay, I'm going to show you the product that I've been using. Um, I put this, I spritzed this, this is the Moroccan oil protect and prevent spray. It's for color treated hair and it prevents color frayed UV, UV and pollution protection. And I thought this was like really important, especially because I'm in Mexico City and my hair is getting wrecked. Like, I usually use functional beauty shampoos and conditioners and products and all of that, and I love them to death. But sadly, I can't get them like delivered here because there's so many restrictions with anything like beauty, skincare, like anything that has to do with like labs and chemicals. It's highly restricted here, so I can't import it, and my hair is basically getting ruined <laughs> because I stopped using it. Um, I still have a tiny bit left of the product that I brought, but yeah, that's the situation right now, so I've had to improvise, <laughs> and um, as of now, I'm kind of getting by, even though like I obviously need to, like, it's still shiny, it's quite healthy, it's just, it feels a bit dry, 
at the ends because I'm not using my usual stuff. But as of now, I'm using this one and it's this one right here. It's this one right here. Um, yes, I still need to go paint my nails, but I gotta dry my hair first so I can tie it back. Oh my god, my nose is dying. So yeah, I spritzed that one in my hair um, while it was wet and I brushed it because it's also like a leave-in detangler. I'll link everything in the description box below. I used my Tangle Teaser brush to brush my hair, you know? But now I'm going to go in with my um, Tony and Guy heat protection mist. It's just a normal protection mist. I actually found this brand at um, a pharmacy here in Mexico. So I'm going to look it up and I'm going to order it because I literally just run out all right now. Like literally right now. Yeah, this needs to be ordered today. That goes in the bin. And then I'm just going to brush it through. I got as much as I could out of the bottle, but I know how it is. Right? I've brushed through. I know the thing that I use um, to tame the frizz and to have like that nice shine, the blow dry effect, um, I use the Markman Oil Blow Dry Concentrate. It's for very coarse, unruly hair. Um, it's a smoothing one. It comes in this really nice, like, glass bottle. I'm very scared to drop this, by the way. Um, it says it's for extreme blow-dry manageability, intense anti-frizz, and um, it's just basically an oil that really hydrates and smooths the look. Um, I grab like, uh, two pumps. I was going to say a pump and a half, but no, it's in reality two pumps. And I just kind of do this, go through the ends of my hair first to get most of the product there. And because I have layers, I have to go quite high up, otherwise I don't get all of my ends. Okay. And then I start going from bottom to top like that. Because I barely have any right now, I just have them in my palms and I just rub it in. The remaining is just to kind of like smooth some bits. I do use a tiny, tiny pump at the end to kind of just finish the whole look. But that's what I do to prep the hair um, for blow drying it, really. But this is... Um, but I just wanted to say, this is a blow dry style type of thing. Usually I do like a rough dry just to get my hair dried, but a proper blow dry, I use this because it's amazing. So I'm just going to show you what I do. I just split my hair, just like when I curl my hair, I split my hair into like three sections. So I can attempt to do this. Like, I get so much hair. Oh. I mean, this is going to be good when I, um, I'm older. Just grabbing a clip and then out and I'm pulling on my hair. There you go. Um, and then I just split it into two ends, two, two ends, two sides more or less. And turn it on and I'm going to show you what I do. Because you're not going to be able to hear it. Um, literally like I just split into two brush it on top brush it under so like it's detangled and then I start smoothing it down making sure all the bits are dry and then I curl towards the end um, and that's it basically so I'm just gonna do that to the rest of my hair so I don't bore you I'm gonna like speed up a tiny bit but yeah it just feels like really smooth and it's not puffy at all now <laughs> your hair and it feels so, like light and fluffy and nice it feels like that 
it feels amazing. I never thought I could like feel like that or make my hair feel like that. It, like, it feels like light and bouncy and fluffy, but at the same time it's, it's just blow drying and it's still straight. It's not even curly. Like when I curl I feel like, you know, a mermaid, but it feels really nice. And today I didn't want to curl my hair really, especially because I ran out of heat protectant, which I need to order right now. Um, but that's what my hair looks like. My food's arrived. I'm so happy. Look, I've ordered a cheeseburger with like Doritos inside. It looks amazing. Some curly fries and some mozzarella sticks. And I'm just gonna watch um, some Gossip Girl while I eat and strictly while I eat. So after that, I just go and start filming in my room. But yeah. Oh, and I also got like this thing. Okay, so basically in Mexico, we have this thing. Um, we serve Coke, um, Coca-Cola the drink, the soda, with some um, lime sorbet. And basically what you do is you just put these like two scoops, two, yeah, scoops of lime sorbet into like a glass and then you just pour the Coke on top of it and it, and it tastes amazing when you're burning. So it's just, it makes me very happy. It makes me very happy. It's very refreshing. Um, for some reason, I can't really find lime, like the green, like this one, this green one. In Europe, it's like yellow or white from the ones I have found, and those like are like the yellow lemon ones. But it tastes amazing, and I'm just gonna eat and enjoy. This is basically what you're gonna watch me do the entire quarantine. Eat and enjoy whatever I'm doing. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Um, it's 10 a.m. or something, and I'm gonna try and attempt to get things done and edited. I made myself a cup of tea, another ginormous one over there, and I made myself, well I didn't make myself yet, <laughs> this was already made, um, I served myself a piece of carrot cake so I need to finish it. I'm gonna make a red velvet cake later, um, but I need to finish doing this like ASAP because I was going to start like an hour ago but I was way too asleep and so I'm done editing. Um, that was a lot quicker than I expected, to be fair. I thought it was going to take like hours, like two hours or something, but I forgot I had already started editing this video and I was almost done with it and I was like, oh, okay. I literally had to edit like about three minutes after the video, so I was just like, perfect. I'm uploading it as we speak, so hopefully it'll be on time today. I mean, it all depends up to the Wi-Fi. If it, if it wants to, if it budges, you know? I've just been cleaning the bathroom. I just cleaned it, like, disinfected everything, you know? Um, but I wanted to show you the stuff that I use. I'm just gonna step in here, it's wet. Um, I've been obsessed with these Way um, hair care stuff. Like, I've already tried some of the other products, but not the shampoo and conditioner with the masks. And um, I really, really like it. It has, like, made my hair survive. And um, I still have a little bit of my function of beauty stuff. This is the purple shampoo and the leave-in um, product, but I don't have any more of my regular shampoo, my regular conditioner. So, you know, I've had to improvise because it's really complicated to get here in Mexico and it's a mess. So yeah, I've improvised, but these are doing just fine. Um, I just wish the bottles were bigger because um, this is my normal shampoo, I mean conditioner bottle, and this is my shampoo size with function of beauty. This is the thing that I love the most. You could do the same thing like this, because I use a hard ton of conditioner. And on top of it, the bottles go a little bit like bent come for me to try to squeeze everything out. Um, that, and I've been loving this. This needs to come to the UK or like Europe or something because it smells insane. It smells so good. Honestly, like fresh coffee with the most delicious like coconutty um, vanilla. It doesn't smell like the tropical smells like... Um, like, if, like, I don't know how to explain it, you know how, like, coconut and, like, you know, pina colada and those, like, kind of holiday smells? No, it doesn't. It smells like, you know, like, creamy coconut with a hint of, like, vanilla and it's just, it smells insane. And I hate vanilla scented. I hate, like, sweet things. Like, ugh, I just, this is amazing. So amazing that I bought the body cream. I got it today and, oh my god, it's thick, it's creamy, it sinks in, like, really nicely. I cannot recommend these enough. If you haven't tried these, go for it. It's amazing. This is like a tiny section of my skincare stash thing. Um, I bought like, I brought some of them and then I've bought stuff. Um, my sacred bio oil. 
I ran of e I ran out of E45, so I'm trying. I was trying out that one, um, but I refilled it with the Nivea Soft because it's a lot easier to pump stuff out and squeeze them out instead of like scooping them with nails. Cause you no. Know. But yeah, those are the products that I've been loving and can't get enough of. And now I'm just waiting for the curler to heat up. Yeah, it's hot now. Um, so I could just curl my hair and get ready. I just chucked on like a wobbly, cozy t-shirt for now to clean the bathroom and stuff. But um, I'm gonna change it to something a bit nicer to film videos. But I've had a really productive day so far. So I'm really happy about that. I'm not happy about this though. I finally finished filming the videos. Now I'm gonna have some lunch. And then I'm gonna edit and like do my self isolation stuff. So I wanna color, I wanna read, and I wanna stretch because my back is killing me. It's 5.21, I'm starving. I'm gonna go get something to eat. Let's go. Hi. <laughs> Hi. I'm just on a video call with my mom right now. <laughs> I've gotten ready for bed. Sexy with a pimple cream. Um, hopefully it'll dry out my dear old friend because it grew. Obviously with the makeup on I didn't I couldn't tell, but it grew. Just been watching some videos. Zag Zagoni Julie. Hi. Um, I'm just gonna read and go to bed now, so I'm just gonna leave it here. I'll see you tomorrow morning. And hopefully this vlog isn't too long. I feel like I've got a lot of footage, which is a good thing. The fuck? My aunts are in the living room watching the series, so. Good morning, guys. It's Friday. Good morning for my friends, too. It's brewing. It doesn't even hurt, it's just, it's brewing. But it's okay. We'll survive. I'm about to go bake a cake. I have, like, eaten breakfast and showered and gotten ready so far. I still haven't filmed a makeup tutorial so I haven't put makeup on but I'm gonna go bake a cake. 